Dune is a 2021 sci-fi epic directed by Denis Villeneuve, based on a novel by Frank Herbert. The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius is an animated series by John A. Davis that aired on Nickelodeon. On the surface, these two seem like unconnected properties, and that's true. However, I think that there is something here that Dune, as well as other films like it, can learn from the show, and we're gonna talk about it. Let's do this. Now, on the surface, Dune doesn't really look like it needs help in anything. It was a huge critical success, but it also turned a big enough profit that it was able to get its sequel greenlit right away, even though it had a simultaneous streaming release, and the fact that it came out in the middle of the everything. But the Jimmy Neutron model, that's right, I named it is something that the Dune franchise can definitely benefit from in the long run, as well as other potential big projects coming out in the future. Before the 2002 TV series, Jimmy Neutron had a feature film that was released in 2001. The film was a big success and was quickly followed up by the launch of the series next year, and you can break that down to two major reasons. One is that they already knew they were doing both. The film was pitched to coincide with the series. They were being made together. Knowing that you're doing both allows you to be in production more or less at the same time, so that way you don't have to finish one, see how it does, and then jump into the next thing. And that is a big leap of faith on Nickelodeon's part. Second is how they managed their resources. John A. Davis pushed for the film to be made first, so that way all of the CG assets could be created at a theatrical quality and be reused for the series. And that's my biggest takeaway here, because while the CGI of the show is dated now, at the time it was, like I said, it's theatrical quality. And usually if you make a movie based on a show, you have to upgrade to get to that quality, but instead you've got a uniform high-end thing going throughout your entire franchise. And that's what Doom can use for its franchise longevity. They've already got all these costumes and sets and CG worms made, so to reuse them is just the smart thing to do. And obviously they're going to do that in the sequels, but further along as well. I know Denis Villeneuve has said he wants to do a trilogy of films, the second one being part two of Dune, and the third film covering the sequel Dune Messiah. I'm a firm believer that after that, Dune would make a lot of sense as a big budget series. You know, that sort of prestige show that exists in the realm of Game of Thrones, but for sci-fi. And that could either be a continuation with the rest of the Frank Herbert novels, or just a fleshing out of the world at large. I don't really care either way. Both would work, both would be good. Both? Both. Both. Both is good. I know there were plans for a series covering the Bene Gesserit called The Sisterhood, so clearly this is something that's on their minds as well. And the Jimmy Neutron model doesn't just work for Dune, it can be used to launch other multimedia franchises as well. The Dark Tower series by Stephen King I think is a great example of something that could benefit from this, a big epic film to launch everything. But the book series as a whole is too much to cover just in a handful of movies. You need that long form storytelling that TV provides. Or the Dresden Files. You have these big, epic, world changing storylines covered in the films, and then a series that connects them and fleshes out all these smaller, more character driven stories. And it can be used for original IP as well, though sadly you don't see a lot of that getting greenlit anymore because no one wants to take a chance. But it could, you know, you invest a bunch of money into a movie and then if that movie is successful, you spin it off and then you've got this high quality series made for less than it would have cost initially. Marvel is already essentially doing this. You see the Disney Plus shows that they're doing are characters that have existed in the movies prior and the new series that they're announcing seem to be a lot of spin-offs of characters that are getting introduced in these series that are successful. But Marvel can also throw infinite money at things, so it's not really a one-to-one -one comparison that works. You know, a show like Lost, it had a two-hour pilot. That's essentially a movie, but it's a lot more open-ended. You could do that. You could make a movie, tell the first story of these characters, put it on the screen, and then expand from it and grow it from there. And I think that would be 
great. Come on, Dune. Give us that series. Come on! That about covers it, though. My overall thoughts on this Jimmy Neutron model and how we can implement it going forward. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Likes, subs, all that would be great. And until next time, have a good one.